Hey, what's up guys? Nuno here. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a realistic interior render in just about 15 minutes. We will use Lime Exporter plugin. This plugin allows you to export from 3ds Max to Lumion with all the textures already applied. And with this, saving a lot of time loading all the textures one by one. On this channel, I publish render tips every week, and if that's what you want to hear about, then subscribe and click the bell button to get notified when I publish my new videos. So let's get started. So I have here my scene in 3ds Max, and the only thing I need to do is to go here to the top Lime Exporter, click it, and then I'll select Whole Scene, I'll give it a name and I'll press OK. So it will export this scene. Okay, so this scene was exported in just 26 seconds. So now let's uh, import it in Lumion. So here inside Lumion, we will select the white template. And now we will go to import and we'll select our model. Open, so let me just put this in the correct category. Let's call it living room. And this may take uh, some time to import. Okay, so now that I have my scene here, I will just go to height and with a little bit up like this. Now, as you can see, it uh, imported pretty much all the textures, okay? But to have proper reflections, we need to select the material and select standard, okay? And now we just need to adjust the glossiness, reflection. But for example, in this case, you can see a lot of the blue sky from exterior. And why is that? Because we need to have the reflection Okay, this reflection control. If you are using older versions of Lumion, Lumion 8 or Lumion 9, you will find this reflection control in the lights category. So I just place it about here, like this. And now you see that it's reflecting properly. Okay, now what you need to do is basically in every material, just select standard and just adjust the properties a little bit like the gloss and ref reflectivity. This is basically the two properties that I uh, adjust. I adjust as well the um, color sometimes. For example, let's say this material here. I'll select standard. And even when I reduce the reflectivity, okay, like this and the gloss as well, but it's too dark. So what we'll do, I'll just go here to the material and I'll make it about here and actually less saturated. Okay, I think like this it will work. And also for the emissive materials, select standard and just go to settings and emissive. If you cannot see this tab, it's because you have this hide extended settings like this. So just click here and you'll have the settings. So I'll leave it about here. Okay. Some materials sometimes uh, they don't import the texture like this one. You can either manually select the texture in this case, or since this is a wood panel, I can just go here to the Lumion library and select one wood like this. And I'll go to its properties. I'll make this a little bit darker and adjust more or less until here. I'll go to wood and make it like this. Okay, seems nice. By the way, if you want to learn more about how to create realistic PVA materials, I have a video for that and you can check it in the top right corner or in the description below this video. Now, I will just uh, 
fast forward a little bit while I set up all of these materials, I'm pretty much going to do the same as I'm doing now, just adjust the gloss and the reflectivity. So let's start. Okay, I think that's all for the materials. And now let's go to render. And the first thing we need to do is to set up our camera here. And I'll just click here, set eye level, and then horizontal level. And I'm gonna move it down to about, uh, about here. Also increase this to about 30. Maybe like this. Move my camera back just using my arrow keys and leave it at about here okay and then just press the store camera let's see uh, now the purpose of this video is to create a um, nice render but quite fast so i'm just going to select a custom style already from lumion i'm gonna go with the overcast first thing i'll do i'll go to camera and I'll add a two-point perspective, so our vertical lines are all straight, okay? So you see the difference? If you have the Lumion 10 version, you can just press here on the viewport, and it's already create a fast preview how it how it looks. So I'll just change here this real skies to this one. I'll change the position to about... Uh, About here is fine. Okay, and I'm just going to slightly adjust these settings. Like for example, the scene is too yellowish, so I'm just going to decrease the temperature a little bit, and I'm going to increase as well the contrast of the scene. So I'm just going to slightly adjust all of this, and when and then let's take a, a render. Uh, one thing I'll do, I'll disable this depth of field effect. Because I'm not going to take, uh, at least now, any close-up shots, so I don't need this effect. And uh, I'm going to set up as well my reflection planes. So this is, I'm, I'm telling uh, which uh, planes I want them to be with a high quality reflection. And uh, I think it's pretty much it. Just add these two here. And now if I preview, you can already see some difference. I'll just take a new render. Okay, I think this is looking nice, but uh, it could be better. What I'll do, I'll just uh, work around this area because it's too dark. So to do this, I'll just go here. I will increase here the color so it's not so dark, but here and this one as well. Okay, actually it's too reflective as well. Okay, and I'll add some area lights here, this line light. So like we have here some uh, lights under these uh, shelves. So let me just rotate them about uh, here. Make them smaller in width, bigger in length. And uh, color, make them a little bit yellow, increase the fall off about here and reduce the brightness. Just move it more to the middle. Actually,
yeah like this just gonna move it a little bit up and now I'm going to duplicate and put it here do the same same here and same here okay I think it's too much in terms of brightness let me reduce and let me take any render and see how this looks hmm. I think it will still be too much but let's have a look well actually it's not too bad what I don't like now is that this material is too too light so let's make it darker and actually first this one I don't like the color uh, just change a little bit maybe let's try like this and this one let's reduce about here and increase this and decrease this yep see the difference okay I think we just need a little bit more exposure here Okay, another thing you can do is to increase the brightness of the real sky. About here, and actually decrease now this exposure. Okay, let's see the difference. Okay, I think it's looking good. I just don't like this material here, it's too, um, too blurry. Let's try to do one thing first. Let's see this one. Let's try to duplicate this one. Copy and paste it here. Maybe this one. Still not great, so let's see. Yeah, okay, just increase the map scale. Okay, I think like this will be better. And uh, here, let's see now. Since this render, I want it to be basically the um, final render directly from, from Lumion. We need to add some more effects to, to make this basically our final render. So let's go here to add effects. And I'm going to add first the chromatic aberration and I'm going to reduce it to about here then I'm going to add uh, let's see vignette and this vignette just slide like this we don't want to be too much noise as well so so it's not super perfect the render Okay, now we need to add the uh, bloom, but just a little bit. And let's see if anything else. This print poster in answer. And I think that's it. Let's try to render this out. Oh, by the way, one last effect I forgot to add. It's the um, analog camera effect. So it's about, uh, it's here. And this effect, basically you can add filters to your render. So I'm gonna add something like, uh, let's see, this one, just slightly. 
Okay. And now I'm going to render the final one. And this is my final render. As you can see, it's quite fast to make a nice looking render. By the way, I have a course in which I teach how to create high quality and realistic renders in Lumion and with the shortest render time. Also, with my course, you can get a 20% discount for Lime Exporter plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below this video. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumb up, subscribe and click the bell button to get notified when I publish new videos. See you in the next ones.